Hey everyone, Chris at Laminex. And today we're doing another video on our Ford Raptor series. On this tail light on the Ford Raptor, they got this white part here. And you know, the truck being kind of a charcoal gray or a dark gray color, I figured it'd be kind of uh, nice as a style effect to actually kind of tone this white part down and kind of give it more of a smoke look. But to do so, we're gonna have to do a custom installation on the tail light. So today I'm gonna show you how to do that. To start, I'm gonna take a tailor's tape. And this tailor's tape is kind of soft and pliable so it can kind of go around the curves. You can use a ruler, but it is kind of challenging to go bend around a 90 degree curve. But I'm actually just going to kind of measure and I'm gonna overlap the white part by about a half an inch or so. So in this case, overlapping, it gives me about a 12 inch length this way. But then I'm gonna go measure from the height, but I also need to take into consideration some of the compound curves here. The, of the, uh, the blind spot radar. So in this case, going around here, it's about 13 inches, but I wanna add in a little extra, so I'll round it up to 14 inches. So that's what we need to actually purchase for a Laminex Universal Sheet. You go on to select 12 inches by 14 inches and get two sheets so you can do one on, the, uh, one on each side. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a custom insulation using a 12 inch by 14 inch Universal Sheet. In this case, we're actually gonna use a gun smoke, and I already got it cut out, but we're gonna use a gun smoke color, which is more of a medium tint to put on the tail lights. So to give it a nice smoke effect, but it still can meet legal requirements by having the visibility out to the distance that you need it to be. So the first step is really is to clean the light thoroughly. We already kind of done that. We cleaned it off well with some water, wiped it down, and then I take a microfiber towel and just wiped up any of the lint, dirt and debris, because we don't want to have any remaining on the light because that would actually impact and you'll be able to see it underneath because it gets trapped underneath the adhesive. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our spray mister. When you order a universal sheet, for the, especially in this size, it's gonna come with a spray mister. And you just fill it up with some filtered or distilled water. Take the sprayer. I'm just gonna miss the outside part of the light. Just so we can have it all nice and wet. It doesn't have to be soaking, dripping, but just the point where we have a small water droplets all over. And then we're gonna mist our fingertips. This will help keep the fingerprints from marring the adhesive. Then we're gonna take the laminex and separate from the liner. Be careful to not let the laminex actually fold onto itself. And I'm just gonna gently lie it on, onto the light here. Okay, so we have these bulges on this light. They kind of stick out by like, you know, three quarters of an inch and that's gonna impede our ability to actually get it applied down onto the white part. So what we're gonna to have to do is we're actually gonna to have to make some incisions that kind of get the remaining of the film to apply down. So you're gonna take your Laminex trim tool that's provided in your kit, extend the blade to about a half an inch, half an inch out from the end, and then lock it. And then what we're gonna do is gonna be careful, we're gonna kind of run around the top part where the bulge is out. And be careful so you don't have to go so deep to the point where it's actually damaging the light. We're just cutting the raised portion of the film that's raised up off of the lamina, off of the light. And make sure you take your time, be careful so you're not cutting where you want to protect too. Good. So now I'm peeling away that excess. So now it actually allows us to to apply the laminex down onto the flatter area around these bulges. So now I'm gonna spray the outside of the laminex again. This will help for a lubrication layer as we're, we're applying it down with the squeegee. I'm gonna spray my fingers again, make sure they're nice and wet. Now we're gonna take a little time and actually lie this down a little bit better. Now that we don't have the bulges in the way, I'm actually able to apply the laminex down smoothly onto the area we wanna smoke out. All right, now that that's applied down and it's covering all the white part on the light, we're gonna take our squeegee. Squeegee that comes in the kit, and we're gonna use all four fingers to spread over the top of the entire squeegee to kind of get a nice, even distribution. And we're just gonna start squeezing that moisture out from underneath the area. And we're gonna do nice, firm strokes on here. We really wanna get that moisture out. If, you, if you're doing this and you got some a, a bubble, or a pocket that's raised up. You can pull the laminex up and reapply it again dozens of times so you get just right. So I'm gonna pull it back up to that bubble and then reapply it back down to make sure that bubble is actually gone and removed. 
and I'm just working my way around, squeezing the laminex down. And I'm not worried, so worried about doing the outside, the, the, the remaining part on the outside. I'm just more focused on the white part that we, are, that we want to have that custom smoke out look on. All right, now the laminex is applied down. And you're probably not gonna notice on a camera, but there actually is, is a little lip or a ridge around on the white part. And it's actually kind of give us a good idea about where to follow, because now we're gonna use the trim tool and do a custom trim. And we're gonna follow the line. And I'm actually gonna go about a 16th or an eighth of an inch wider than the white part. So as you're looking at an angle, it's still covering all the white part. And you're not exposing some of it. So I'm just gonna start here. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of do a nice fluid motion, and I'm not going to cut really deep into the laminex. I'm just gonna do a medium, a light to medium pressure, scoring the outside of the laminex. I'm gonna follow the white part here, staying a little bit on the outside of it, taking my time, trying to do a nice fluid motion. It could help too if you put like a spotlight on here. That'll give you better visibility of where the white part is. And again, I'm staying away by about an eighth of an inch away from that, where that white part is. And as I mentioned earlier, there's a little ridge, so I'm kind of staying on the outside of that ridge. And you can also use a knifeless tape on this. And the knifeless tape is kind of like a piece of tape that applies down onto the light, and then you can peel it away afterwards. And again, I'm just lightly kind of scoring the nut light and not trying to cut all the way through the laminex to damage the light. All right, so now here comes the challenge, is separating this excess. I'm gonna lift up the laminex here so I have a complete decision. Now I'm just gonna to try to pull off the excess. Make sure you retract the blade so you don't cut yourself. And I'm just pulling off the excess. And if he's kept it consistent fluid motion all the way around just to allow you to kind of pull this away in one, in one setting. Wipe up the moisture, make sure it's all applied down. And there you go. The laminex is now installed on the white part of this tail light. And it gives it a nice smoke look and almost matches the, the paint exactly. But it does tone down the white and kind of, kind of gives it a real customized, unique effect. We're not having to wrap the entire light. I just could do a custom trim to fit along this little white band around the tail light. Anyway, that's a new video for the Project Raptor series. If you have any questions about the technique or the product itself, give us a call, hit us up on live chat or email us at help at laminex.com. Thanks and have a great day. Take care.